so far our best year for Toyota have done. Um, yeah, crowds have been really good every night. Uh, getting treated cool really well. People, awesome band, like yeah. good people to hang out with and like we just have that ball. Like, as Marcel said every night, I think it goes the same for all of us. We really look up to it. So we sing a lot. Yes! I mean, legendary to tour with people. Like that. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's start with Palace. Probably high and low. High and low is pretty, it's a banger. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it, mate? What? High, high and low is a banger. Yeah. We're yeah. yeah. fans of high and low. So yeah, that's, that's Palisades. Um, so it was the, you know, I think it would have to be... Smile on your sleep. Ah. Mm -hmm. Smile on your sleep. I'm I'm like, actually, the, new song, the new song, the new song, is actually good. Yeah, amazing. Like the new album, Silverstein has like reinvigorated my love. Yeah. Every every song that Silverstein played is absolutely cool. That's cool. That's true, actually. They're all of every song. Yeah. Brings back your childhood. That's nice. Good call, Marcel. And not really childhood. What? Just now as well. Gonna bring back childhood when you hear the album. I never ever had a child. He was born like this. I was born 20. Yeah. And that's about it. That's disgusting. It's awful. And he's never aged. I hope that answers your question though in some, some roundabout way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> long story short, Service and Rocks and the Oracle. And every song is awesome. We love them. Give this one to Cal. Yeah, you wrap this cow. The thing I like about Europe the most is <laughs> the, the music culture is really just, you know, it's very, uh, the fans here seem very respectful, uh, yeah. more so for the music side of things rather than, I know, things like, uh, I know, when, as you tour abroad, you see that different countries have different uh, kind of like interest in the music, whereas some countries will be more about uh, imaging and like just selling your music getting out there, but when you tour Europe it, and you play to like fans like we've been playing to on this tour, you can really see that they they absorb the music and they judge you based on that and all the other stuff doesn't really matter so much. Yeah. Mm. That was a brilliant answer. Yeah, well done. Got that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was really yeah, yeah. That was the best yeah. way you could have asked that. That's what we think. <laughs> Like, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah. I love being here. I think it's like a, a pretty big market that we want to focus on in the next year and stuff in the future. Uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really want to keep coming back to Europe, so I love the fact that we can do that and gain respect from mm. fans and know and work hard to like to and it feels really rewarding when you can gain mm. fans over here as well because obviously of what Cal said in the last question that you have to work for that respect. But when you are seeing your fan base grow, you, you feel like you know the hard work's all paying off, and like the long hours on the road and being away from your family and friends is yeah. you know really worth it. So yeah. I think we're pretty happy with how it's all gone. Yeah. yeah. We've done it once before, and it was the greatest yeah. experience of our lives. Yeah, I think. And uh, this time around, it will be just as good. If not be my first time. This yeah, time. It was, so, it's gonna um, be yours. I'm real excited. Probably won't let you in there with that hat. Probably not, hey. I look like a bit of a douchebag, but <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed they'll let me in the door. AJ, you like this hat? Oh. <laughs> 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 what do I need to take? No, it should be good. Oh, we're, we're so pumped. And like hopefully. that's the biggest Australian festival really yeah. that you can do for our genre. So it would be silly not to be so excited about that. <laughs> that's true. Great lineup. Mm. Also, yeah. Like playing with idols. And yeah. Mm. And bands like that. Yeah, it was a, one of the biggest like festival lineups there in the world. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Pretty, yeah, pretty yeah, it's insane. Exciting. Yeah. So yeah, I, it was just going to be interesting to see how it's um how you know how our next sound work is going to be compared to the one we did mm -hmm. because you know um, the last one was just like amazing. Like, yeah. it was seriously, we were we played at a pretty you know random time. Or something, but we just had like a whole place full of people watching us because they wanted to see us so it would be interesting to see how it's now uh, next year. It's still going to be like that or if it's you know, you know, better. 100 people or worse. Or worse. <laughs>
we no, got it's going to be better. You sure. never know. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> People who've heard it, I think, uh, really, really like it. Um, I think people can tell that we're sort of um, approaching different avenues in music and I think becoming more of a band uh, ourselves, I guess. Um, I think a lot of people appreciate it a lot. Um, it's always going to be haters, but that's cool. It gets me to <laughs> I think, if we're completely honest, like uh, the way we see what was being um, accepted is it wasn't so much a step forward for us, but more of a sidestep into something that we're yeah. happier to do. It's making us happier to, you know, go out and tour the songs because we believe in them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like obviously we're losing a couple of fans in that respect, but we're also gaining a lot as well. So another brilliant answer. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> We really want to answer that, it will take like five hours. <laughs> but Loveless, <clears throat> pretty much because lyrically, it was a good song, by the way. <laughs> Great song. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, lyrically, it was pretty much um, a time where I had to find myself and first and foremost learn how to love myself rather than loving somebody else because it was more like a dis discovering thing. I get, it's like discovering my true self and Loveless was for me. That's that's kind of what I interpreted it. But all the other guys sort of they have their own explanations for it. But it doesn't mean that we're loveless. Like I'm happily married and I'm in love, you know, like it just it's, it doesn't mean that we're loveless. It just means that the world itself, it, you know, it sometimes seems careless and you know, it's mm. it's it's kind of just that really. There's so much to it, and I probably Very should cool. write a book about it. But <laughs> <laughs> Next it's like project. Novel tomorrow, man. A side project, novels. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
a fire fighter or a policeman, and then I wanted to be a musician. It never changed. Yeah. Like from when I was probably 11 or 12, I don't know about these guys. But there's always something I wanted to do. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. 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 Yeah.